So I grew up in Portage County, um, primarily jumped between Stevens Point and Amherst, one being a very rural egg community, and the other one having a university and a population of around, I think, came around 48,000. So the cost of living is pretty comparable to what it was here. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't find jobs when we were looking, and that was kind of the determining factor was, could we get a job up here in Taylor County? And that was not very difficult at all. And when we were starting to grow our family, one of the things we took into consideration is, was it viable for us to have more kids? And you can kind of do a lot with a little, but Medford had everything that we wanted. I mean, the great school system, uh, we had the pool that was really, really just right down the road. We could walk to it. The library was on the other side of the river. And so we just took advantage of all of those things. And that was one of the, the biggest things that we wanted because now we have eight kids and I don't believe we'd be able to do that anywhere else had it not been for, I think, just the ease of living here. We love Taylor County because we can send our kids outside to play and we know our neighbors and uh, we know that our kids are safe and that people are looking out for them and um, even just being out and, and about, I hear people saying like, I saw your kids playing on their skateboards the other day or I saw your kids playing hockey in the driveway and it's just, it's nice to know that people are watching and that people care and I feel safe to send my kids outside to play and that's important. So when James started working um, at Radio Shack, I decided to go back and get my um, CNA degree. And it was literally like a block away that I had to drive. So that was great for um, travel. And um, I worked for a while as a CNA and then had a few more kids somewhere in there. And um, we have delivered most of our children at Aspirus Birth Center, which is amazing. And we really love all the staff up there. They have some great programs that they offer when you have children and they're just super great with um, offering resources and being invested in you. We didn't day. feel like we were a number. Right. Like we've come to, to know them pretty well now. They know us and I think just knowing your providers and the people that are going to be taking care of you, especially in your time of you know having a baby or having kids, it means a lot because you don't feel like you're, you're alone kind of doing it by yourself. And you know if you didn't have family here, who would be your your safety net and those resources and the providers here are incredible and again all those those services that they offer here in, in Taylor County that we've used some but not all. There's resources such as Abiding Care Pregnancy Resource Center which is a nonprofit that helps families and, and young mothers kind of get on their feet as well and, be, and provide resources to them and Taylor County um, family resources as well. So as our family grew, uh, we knew that we wanted to be home with our kids as much as possible. Having grown up on a farm, I always had my dad and my grandfathers uh, really close to me and my siblings grew up right alongside. Obviously we went to school, but uh, I wanted to recreate that somehow and I didn't inherit the farm. So what did that look like? For us taking a big risk and becoming self-employed, I asked Katie to quit her job and come alongside me full time. Um, and you bootstrap it for a while and you eat mac and cheese a ton. Uh, and, it, and it was worth it because um, now we, we have our kids around us, which is a blessing and a curse some days, but our, our goal was to homeschool. And so how could we do that other than being self-employed? And I don't know that we could have. For us, it's always been about having a lifestyle um, that we've, we've wanted, I think, from the very beginning.